guys hello there i've uh i've got a turbo here it's come off a mazda 1.6 turbo diesel it's the di version 2007 uh, it's the bk i'll show you a bit closer what that's the part number so uh, this turbo's gone on me so i've put a new cartridge in it this one's got a bit of play in it but anyway i put a new cartridge in it and it's still not boosting so i've decided to put a new uh a new wastegate so i'm gonna take this wastegate out and i've got a new one a cheap one from ebay i'll show you here is so yeah i'm gonna be putting this on so i'll make this video and uh, we'll see where we get with it i'm no uh, mechanic by any uh, experience i've got uh, some electrical mechanical qualifications but they're not automotive they're not for cars but anyway we'll give it a go uh hopefully this video will save you some uh, money Right, so I need to take this the turbine side off uh, to have a look if there is any damage in there. This, like I said, this new cartridge in there, but I've put it on and there was still an issue in there. the The wastegate wasn't initiating, so uh, I need to have a look and see if that's damaged before I uh, put it back in the car. So what I'll do first, guys, I'll take I'll take the wastegate out. And then I'll have a look and uh, see whether I'm going to take the, the turbine side out. Uh, it's probably the easiest side to take out the turbine side, but you've got the veins and they're quite uh, tricky to put back on. Uh, I've made another video on how to make these, uh, to put these turbines back. So if this video goes somewhere, then I will uh, attempt on uploading another video. But if you've got anything, just leave it in the comments and I'll try and make a video about it or give you some pointers so yeah hi right, guys i've taken this off and uh it's not really uh, looking too bad to be honest with you so i'll show you a quick way of testing it so if you just push this down and actuate it down and just let go i mean this is springing back a bit but it's not too bad so if you let go of the vacuum line it should spring back up so that's the test guys but i'll change it anyway i'll put a new one in because i've already got this new one in so what I need to do is take these, this bracket, the old bracket for the actuator, the wastegate actuator, I need to take this one off. Anyway, I'm going to have a look at the turbine anyway, so, and uh, maybe clean it. It needs, it needs a good clean because, just be careful guys with these bolts because they're quite easy to to ruin because there's a lot of heat in here. So. Come on. No. Right, I'll fast forward this now. Alright guys, so I've taken that bracket out with a three you know, ten mil volt. But while I've taken this out I've noticed there's dreaded bits basically. I don't know how you can see them there. And they look like the bits from the turbine on the exhaust side, so bad news for this turbo. I actually paid £90 for this new cartridge. So uh, I don't know whether this 
there's not enough oil going in or whether the wastegate's not opening but the wastegate shouldn't really if it doesn't open and put fumes back into the engine it would let it go out of the exhaust so uh, yeah that's where it's at at the moment so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this turbine side out it's only these bolts here now there's about three I think one two three and this should come off easily because I've only just put it on a few days ago so I'll speed this up now again guys Hey guys, so this is off, but there's a considerable amount of uh, oil on this exhaust side, this turbine. There's a bit of damage, so it's been dragging against something there. I don't really like the look of this. And this is a, a brand new cartridge, guys, so there's a lot of oil there. This was nice and clean last time when I put it on a few days ago and now it's all covered in exhaust fumes and so yeah so I'll clean this properly now and see what uh, what's the damage but it looks like it's going to need a new cartridge I don't like that axle play on it either. It looks a bit, well that's toasted anyway, so I'll give it a bit of a carb clean. Okay, so I've, uh, I've taken this off and I'll show you what's I've investigated it a bit so if you have a look here the heat shield there it's pretty uh, dangled and uh, I'll just balance this light so basically what happened here when I bought this it wasn't tightened properly so if you look there there's a nut missing from the compressor side there's no nut there it's gone somewhere and on this side here the piston seal which is the oil seal as well it's not there so i don't know whether you can see it there Come on. Uh, so basically, yeah, it's not there, and this is the reason why this turbo is toasted. Uh, try and zoom in a bit. Come on. There you go. The piston ring is not there. So I'm presuming this is because I didn't have the piston ring on. There was axle play, which you can see there. And that's what's caused the damage, guys. So when you do purchase anything, especially off eBay, make sure you check it properly, because this is where I've fallen. Uh, I presume this would be balanced, so the nut on here should have been tightened shouldn't have any play shouldn't be able to come off that easily and uh, obviously it did and probably gone inside or shattered or gone back into the uh, air filter or something i don't know but yeah so this is what's happening now guys this is damage absolutely knackered so what i'm gonna have to do is Contact the seller and see if they can uh, sort something out. But yeah, guys, this is toasted. Um, 
yeah, the oil seal is gone, so there's oil pouring in from this side into the exhaust side, and it's actually destroyed. So that's that's that. All I'll do is I'll message the seller and wait for a, for their response. I'll keep this, but as you can see here, it's caused a bit of damage there. So what I'll do is I'll get a 600 grit sandpaper and just give this a good clean. And uh, there's a bit of oil on the on the oil side, uh, on the exhaust side, so I'll have to clean that properly, guys. I mean, this is not too bad because this is a uh, cast iron, so it should clean fairly easily. But yeah, I'm gonna have to leave this video here, guys. So if you do like it, it'll be great. And if you can hit the subscribe button, uh, I'll be uploading more, guys. I've got a uh, A Hilux O3, which I, I'll be working on. Uh, it's got quite a bit of rust, and uh, I need to get it through an MOT. So I will be doing videos on that one. So if you like these videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button, guys. And make sure you drop a like. Much appreciated. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Take care. Goodbye for now.